gonna show you how I use smart technology to make my hovercraft even more fun to drive. So doesn't everyone dream of making a vehicle you can actually ride, especially something cool that no one else has done before? So this is totally me and my electric hovercraft project. However, hovercrafts are notoriously hard to drive around casually, like a bike or a go-kart, since they have no friction and slide around all over the place. But can I use smart engineering to make driving more fun, safer, and less stressful? Today, we're going to check out three ways I did this, starting right now. First off, having a nasty accident is the number one way to halt the enjoyment of any new vehicle. So with all these drones going around these days, many of us have probably experienced or seen someone cut their finger on a drone propeller. Not much fun. So what we're talking about here is just a little bit bigger. Getting your hand or finger caught in there is not going to end well. Right now, with the rear propeller plugged directly into the radio, there's a danger of it starting up unexpectedly if the radio is dropped or if it loses reception. In order to deal with this, I've implemented a multi-switch arming strategy in which none of the motors can spin up until the switches are pressed in the correct sequence. This really reduces the stress of setting up the hovercraft and enables us to get much quicker to fun and safe driving. Secondly, the main smart feature we need for an electric hovercraft is the ability to start and stop quickly. We've already put skids in the bottom of the hovercraft, allowing it to break when the skirt is deflated. The key is to be able to quickly deflate and then reinflate the skirt to get going in a new direction. For stopping, we've implemented a smart deflation feature that idles the motor at just the right speed to keep it deflated, but ready for quickly reinflating when the command is given. Then when the reinflate command is given, we actually have a smart boost feature that throttles the motor above the running speed to quickly inflate the skirt before dropping back down to the most battery effective running level. The last thing to deal with is with a battery powered hovercraft, as the battery starts to drain, the lift motors go slower and slower as the voltage drops. So in order to have a smooth ride throughout the whole battery range, we've implemented voltage compensation which proportionally increases the throttle when the voltage goes lower to have a constant motor RPM throughout the whole period. Third, we want to be able to use full power without worrying about burning up the motors. So the main motor can handle about 100 amps in steady state and 150 amps for 10 seconds before overheating. So in order to ensure we stay within these limits, I put a current sensor on the Arduino so we can track exactly what is going on. Then if the thermal load goes above the allowable limits, the Arduino automatically cuts the throttle back below 100 amps to allow for effective cooling. So will it be more fun to drive now that we have these three new smart features? I'll let you be the judge of that. Mm -hmm.